There's a dinosaur in the toilet by Horace Hughes. Mum, there's a dino in the toilet, cried the boy from number two. It is bobbing in the water and I don't know what to do. His mother ran up quickly, convinced that he was wrong. But as she looked into the bathroom, something didn't quite belong. Right there in the toilet, behind her little man, was a tiny orange dino doing backstroke in the pan. We will have to fish him out, said mother with a frown. Grab the net beside the fish tank before he starts to drown. It surely was a challenge and unpleasant with the stink. But in a while they got him out and placed him in the sink. They washed him off and dried him. He was sweet and so unique. The boy, whose name was Danny, thought the dino might not speak. Did he come out from your bottom? His mother asked in fear. She really couldn't work out. How did he get in here? Or was he playing in the toilet? She wondered with concern. That really is so bad for you, which you have had to learn. But then the dino spoke. It gave them quite a shock. I came from outer space, he said. My spaceship hit a rock. My ship crashed in the toilet right before your number two. I tried to shout a warning as I didn't think you knew. The dino started shivering now and gave a friendly growl. He seemed a lovely dino, so they wrapped him in a towel. Dan's mum took some pyjamas from a very tiny Ted. They fit the dino nicely, then she tucks them up in bed. Are there others where you're from? asked the boy quite sleepily. My planet blew up years ago, said Dino tearfully. I've been alone for many years. It made me sad and blue. I know that can be hard to tell beneath my orange hue. Dan came close and hugged him. Don't cry, let's make a vow. We can be friends, we'll have some fun. Let's go to sleep for now. As Dino slowly drifted off, he gazed upon a star. Could he feel at home, he wondered, since he had come this far? Could he even make friends in this strange, unusual place? Would people truly like him since he came from outer space? He was nervous about lunchtime. And could he learn to spell? Would he cope with all the people? Or would the teachers yell? But Miss Mothers was so kind to him, he learned to do some sums. He mostly loved the bug hotel and playing with his chums. So there at school on his first day, he bravely came to see that facing things that make you scared is one way to be free. And day by day, as time went on, he found out something new, that you can make some lovely friends who might not look like you. Dan also learned along the way to love his small new friend. If we're kind to those who are different, we'll have more fun in the end. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.